Through the doors of the Nancy Vine Memorial Laboratory, you'll find Hanover undergraduate students working hands-on with cadavers. Human dissection is pretty intimidating when you first start out, and a lot of the students are pretty intimidated um, and stand a ways back from the tables on the first week or two. And it's really wonderful to see them overcome their hesitancy and just start to really satisfy their own curiosities asking questions, getting into the dissection themselves, um, and just going after the questions that they have. Junior Lynette Bloomy is a health and movement studies major. The knowledge she is gaining in the lab is benefiting her work as a student athletic trainer. I've already used it several times. I'll be in the training room with Tony. And I'll be like, okay, so is that this muscle or this muscle? And he'll be like, oh, well, it's this one. And I'm like, okay, I just remember being in anatomy lab and going over that one when we were dissecting the other day. It helped me a lot just in the aspect of being able to connect it back to what I want to do in my life of being an athletic trainer or being a physical therapy assistant. The lab is an immersive space for undergraduate students of various academic disciplines and it will soon welcome students from Hanover's Emerging Doctor of Physical Therapy program. For the more common areas of interest are uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, physician assistant, uh, um, medical school, and uh, strength and conditioning and performance. Hanover partners with IU Medical School for the Cadaver Exchange. I want to recognize you know, the, the people and the families that, that support that and, and donate, because you know, without them we, we wouldn't have these resources and the opportunities to do that. The college obtains six or eight cadavers each academic year. With a dissection ratio of five students per cadaver for the musculoskeletal system and eight students for the cardiovascular system, it's an uncommon experience for undergraduate students. And I, I didn't get to do this stuff until I was in my PhD program. And I call it aha moments that, you know, I read about it, talked about it, looked at pictures, but until you actually get the see, touch, and feel that, um, you know, there's, there's so many experiences that you're not going to get out of a book. It's great for the Hanover students because they're getting that experience, uh, some of them as uh, sophomores. The lab recently underwent renovations thanks to a donation from 1954 Hanover alumna Nancy Vine. Bright blue walls, artwork, and flat screen TVs provide an open and engaging environment to learn. The renovation also brought additional tables and models to the lab. Instructors and students say it's a transformative space. Just seeing their fears become fascination is what I enjoy the most. 